Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I'm going to be starting a new series here. And, um, you know, this is just something that I wish I kind of had when I started doing what I'm doing now. And I'm hoping maybe I can just impart a little bit of my experience to help you guys out there. So I've been doing my own comic now for a little over three years. And it's gotten to the point now where I just basically do that for a living. Um, I, I write, draw, and produce comics under my own label. I sell them, and I want to kind of help anybody who's thinking about trying to do that get started because when I did it, it was a lot of learning as I go. And one of the things that I found out was there was a lot that I really didn't know that I didn't know, which meant I knew how to create a comic book because I've been into comics my whole life, and I've always wanted to get into the industry. And for the longest time, I wanted to work for one of the big studios. But, um, you know, that got tricky. And then as time went on, kind of my the, the method that it took to get hired by the studios changed. And, uh, you know, I found that it was maybe just a better shot for myself to just go out on my own and do my own books. Um, I had created a lot of my own characters and done a lot of my own stories in the past. And so what I did was I took some of my old characters uh, pictured here. I dusted them off a little bit. I modernized them. And I refined a story that I had written many, many years ago. And the story had, you know, it had issues, so I had to work those out. And it was kind of good that the story had been just, just permeating in my head for so long that I was able to kind of go through and refine it and go over it, try my best to get rid of any plot holes or anything like that, because you know, you'll find you come up with these great stories, and then you start working out in the head, your head, you start coming up with, oh, okay, well, if this is the problem, why doesn't the character do this? And so that's kind of... That's kind of part of your um, first and second draft, if that's how you work as a writer. Um, but I write my own stories. I do my own art. And the only job I don't do is color it. I've got outstanding color artists that help me on these books. Um, but, you know, I, I think really the the first the first step to, co to kind of creating a comic, if you want to go out on this journey, if this is what you want to do, and this first video is going to be almost more of a pep talk because I think a lot of people need that. I needed that. Um, I didn't have that. I went to throughout high school. I was always into comics, always into art. I graduated high school. I went, started doing a little bit of college, focused a little bit on art, but it didn't, when I was younger, for some reason, I, I kind of wasn't positive that you could make a living doing it. I still focused on it. Uh, but ultimately I got a job doing something else and I quit school and I did that job for many, many years until, um, that, that job ended and I found myself, out of work with experience that didn't translate well into what the economy was turning into. And so I decided to pick up my pencil and start drawing again. And I relied on a lot of the skills that I'd had before. I learned how to do digital art. I draw um, using programs, this program here that I've, I've got pictured. This is Clip Studio. And I think in the next video, I'll talk about more kind of the tools that I use. Uh, but this is just about getting started. This is getting your, your journey started. And really, this is step one. And really, step one is you just... It, it, this was the step that I needed. You just kind of start doing it. <laughs> it sounds really stupid and really easy, but I literally, I sat down, I had this story and I wrote it out as an outline. It was seriously, and I do this for most of my books and I'll talk about my process a little bit in another video, but I wrote the story out and I just drew the first page and then I drew the second page and the next and the next, and then the book was done. And I, I went out, I, I found a colorist, I got the book colored and then you know, it, it just kept going and I just haven't stopped and it's been three years now and it, it's grown because I've had to research and learn the next step. So really what this video is all about is just if you have a comic book in, in your in your mind, just start doing it. If, if you're a writer that, that doesn't have the talent to draw it, just start writing it. There are ways to find artists. Um, in fact, there's a really good resource out there that a lot of people don't know to use uh, called ArtStation. ArtStation is, it's kind of LinkedIn for artists. That's artstation.com, just one big word. And a lot of artists, professional and amateur, put their stuff on there. And you can just go on there and you can peruse hundreds of artists. And you can narrow your search to whatever kind of artwork you're looking for. Fantasy, cyberpunk, superhero, comic book, whatever it is. Um, and then you just look at them and then... If you find an artist you like, you reach out to them, and if you guys can come to an accord on on what you want to do as far as timelines and, and subject matter and cost and everything else, then then there you go. And a lot of artists are willing to work with you, you know, on cost because a lot of the artists on not all, but many of the artists on our station have never worked professionally before, and 
you'll get a you'll probably get a better page rate working with them, but you know you're rolling the dice of they've never done it professionally, and you have to worry about how quick are they and how reliable are they. So, but you know, if you want to go with somebody that's a little bit more established, then they're probably going to command a higher price pay, price point. So, there's that. If you can draw it yourself, then then draw it yourself. But um, if not everybody, not everybody has that gift. So, um, by all means, go out and seek out an artist. There's plenty of artists who love love the opportunity to work on a book, even if it's a self published, brand new, just out of the gate you know, getting it on the ground floor type of situation because one, that's exciting for artists. And two, there's a lot of guys out there that have the opposite problem. They can draw, but they can't do this. They can't come up with the stories. They just, their minds don't work that way. You know, they, they can, if you tell, if you ask them to draw something, they'll give you an amazing rendition of whatever it is. They, they love, you know, I've, I've worked with scripts. I love working off scripts. I love taking somebody's idea and putting it to my pictures. I think it's, it's tremendous fun. Um, but I also like seeing my own ideas kind of pop up onto the screen. So this works well for me. But um, yeah, so this video is really just just start it. Write out your page, write out your story, draw your first pages, and then just don't stop. Don't look back. Just whatever time you can set aside, and whatever whatever your schedule is, if it's an hour a day, if it's a day a week during the weekend, your day off, whatever. Just dedicate time, work on it, and then just get it finished. And when it's done, go. You'll you'll find the next step. That's what I did. I literally started the first page, then I did the second. And when I finished second, I mean, logically, you just do the third. And when the book was done, I found the next step. And that's really all it is. It's just, it's it's hard if you're looking at it from, if you're looking at the end point. If you're looking at, I want a comic book that's out there that people are buying either at a store or online and reading. So don't look at it that way. The first baby step is just start it. Draw, just put that first page, you know, the artwork on your first page or get that story written. Or whatever your process is, that's really it. Just if, if this video can help you be that little push out the door to get you just to take that first step on this journey, then then that's great because that's really all there is to it. Um, you know, there's a lot that comes after it, and we'll talk about that. But I really want to just start you off on the journey of get that story, get that character, get that idea, and just start making it a reality. And really, it will just things will fall into place for you. You just got to believe it. Believe it will. It, it's it's hokey. It sounds new agey, but it's true. Um, you know, just think of yourself. You're not an aspiring artist. You're not an aspiring comic creator. You are an artist. You are a comic creator. And don't let that thought leave your head. That's how you got to think about it. You're you have to will your own stuff into reality. You know, especially when it comes to works of art, you have to create them. You have to. Have the discipline, have the fortitude, and have the time to make them happen. And then once that happens, the the audience will come. It'll it, you'll get there. You just gotta wait. You've just gotta be patient. You gotta do the work. You gotta take the steps. And step one is just start. So that's really what this video is. A um, little bit of my story. Like I said, I just ultimately started a comic and I drew it, and it started from there. And it's been three years now, and it's grown every year. It's gotten bigger, and every year it's gotten more, and every year I've had to learn something. Uh, I have to learn a lot of things. So, and I want to talk about those in those videos. So rather than coming across a problem and then learn and trying to figure out how to solve it, I'm hoping I can help you by anticipating those problems for you and helping you solve them. So this is the first video in this subject. I'll, I'm going to try to do one every week at most um, to get these out there and help you guys get started. So yeah, let me know if you find any of this helpful. Uh, we'll get more technical in the next one. I'll talk to you about the tools that I use and, and why I use, uh, like why I draw digitally versus professional or uh, versus uh, hand drawn. We'll talk about that and why what the pluses and minuses are for both sides. Because um, I could have done this done this traditionally, but I have reasons why I decided to do it digitally. We'll go over that in the next video. So um, good luck. Get started. Talk to me in the comments below. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know if it helps you at all. If this was kind of the uh, maybe a little bit of the nudge that you need to get started and yeah and if you want to check out my comic um level rising i'll put a link to my website in the description below and you can see I've, I've done i'm working on my ninth book right now so if you want to check out my books my graphic novels and stuff i'll put the link in the website out there and thanks for tuning in and i will talk to you guys later bye